view from a rather chilly beer room it, it is rather chilly in here tonight so here's a beer that was given to me by the um the beer reviewers so a combination of adam mr mosey beers hop zine rob and harry luna's beer reviews and this is brew dogs and it's a barrel aged clown king a u.s barley wine with an abv of Oof, indeedy. So it says here, the big top is back in town. Revisit the twisted circus and get reacquainted with the ringmaster in chief. This time the clown king is ready with an encore that will leave you speechless. His American barley wine hits like a high striker to six, thanks to six months locked away in space side whiskey casks. The sojourn adds layers of sweet dark fruit and toasted marshmallow on top of the running order of five malts and four different arts. It also means those as spicy fruit and caramel notes still make their presence felt. And what a story. The Clown King leaves the arena with a smooth finish that lasts as long as the standing ovation. For Barrel Age Clown King, roll up, roll up. So... 13.7%. Oh, ow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't think I'm going to drink all of this in one session. I might have to put the lid back on. As you do. So. A hazy brown looking colour with a centimetre of off white head. Oh, that's got some nose on it. Fruity nose, um, rich fruit nose. There is caramel there for sure. But it's all about the fruit. Complex, boozy. Not too boozy, hopefully. Ooh. Fruity on the taste. Touch of, touch of true um, long lasting flavour. I will say this about brew dog when they're not spouting off with a lot of the rubbish they spout off and I, yeah i'm not impressed with that side of things but now and again they produce beers of excellent quality and that you should always in in any job in life in anything you do you should never it's never just about the verbal it's about doing what makes you the best as I am as a gardener, I can talk all day and say, I, I'm a great gardener, I'm a good gardener, whatever. It's what you actually do that matters, you know. This climate thing they've got going, if they're such a billion pound company, then instead of getting the people to, to fund it, spend some of that big profit, go buy forests, go buy acres of land, Go plant lots of trees yourself. Show the world how it is. All these rich people are saying, oh, we need to do this for climate change. Get off your backsides. Spend your own cash. Buy acres. All the rich people in the world bought land, planted trees, helped fund economies around the world by getting the locals to plant the trees, to buy the trees, and so on and so forth. What would that do? That would save the world without a shadow of a doubt, as well as the government obviously playing their part. Too much in this world are we, are we, you, you know, you, you look around and too much of that and not enough action. Ah.
where I am, we have a load of um, baby trees, Acelis hippocastanum, or horse chestnuts, hippo being horse in Latin. Um, <clears throat> and oh, beautiful taste coming from this, not getting the ABV whatsoever, but certainly getting that taste like caramel, candied. Oh, this is a true um, whoo, treat. Oh. There's times when I'm doing beer reviews and, and uh, there's times when I think, do I carry on, do I not? And, you know, I question myself on a daily basis. It's just the person I am. Um, question why I do things and, you know, what do I get anything out of it? Um, and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, and it's just, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes overthinking. It's part of, being, it's part of having anxiety. You just overthink all the time. And then you realise when you drink something like this, which is so special, that um, this journey into beer is just a wonderful journey. And um, that ability to pick up a beer and be a totally, you know, gobsmacked by the flavour, the aroma, the flavour, um, <clears throat> and what goes into it, complexities of taste. That certainly is the spot, got to be honest. Wow. I think barley wine, something my dad used to drink years ago. And uh, although he went a little bit crazy on it, he was hitting the barley wine most nights. And I dare say it was some good, strong stuff. I'm sure it was Shipston's barley wine. Bloody notifications. Um, I dare say maybe it wasn't that strong back then, because nowadays the beers do seem to be stronger than they were back in the day. And this would be the 80s. So were beers stronger then? Or stronger now? Always an interesting thing. I always thought beers were stronger now. But, obviously, you know, there used to be strong beers back then. Um, back in 2010, there were ciders and lagers at 9% and above. So, maybe, maybe there's always been stronger beers. Um, hmm. Bloody hell, this is a lovely beer. It's got a funny hazy brownie colour look into it, but uh, no, make no mistake about the colour. It's the taste and the aroma. It doesn't show up anywhere near the ABV it says it is. So I walk up the house and fall asleep, fall asleep early. <clears throat> Even if you can't pick out the flavours, not always people can. You drink something like this, you just enjoy it. And uh, it's like a bloody brandy. It's like a, you know, 
drinking something like that where you let the air get to it you let the warmth get to it and uh, for me this would be exceptional uh, as a warm in a warm bit you know as a warm beer sat in your sat in your front room with the heating on full blast or you can buy a fire if you've got such a thing and uh, with the fire on a couple of bottles of this just sat there watching christmas films just enjoying that bit of life And not becoming too overly concerned what's happening in the rest of the world you know there's a lot of stuff we have no control over although we can all do our bit in the grand scheme of things but uh, if everyone with big gardens planting a few trees you know you do that all around the country all around the world yeah, you'd be surprised what it would do especially for those who've got more money and more space obviously well that was a stunning exceptional beer barrel aged clown king from Budok. they really do some um... I've never even heard this beer to be honest um, I'm not sure if it's an old beer that's been kept or a new beer that's been brought I, I, I don't know anything about history of beers I'm, I'm still pretty much on, on a learning trajectory with a lot of things you know and, I, and I'm totally brutally honest with that um, but the fruity rich fruity dark you know rich fruit flavours that come through uh, similar to sort of a, a Christmas pudding flavour vibe but oh my god, what a stunning beer. Um, like I say, you can't get the ABV with this. I can feel it in my face, to be fair. But um, that's the only place, you know, it, uh, it's certainly just, it's just at the spot tonight. I, I needed something like this. I was just feeling slightly down. And something like this just reaffirmed my uh commitment to um doing beer reviews and uh i've already decided tonight to kill off these short reviews they're a waste of bloody time and just go back to doing beer reviews trying to do some lives <clears throat> and obviously from december the first we will be doing lives uh, for the whole month um and uh not concerned with um views and and subscribers and anything like that just concerned with drinking beers telling it how it is and just getting back on track yeah but an exceptional beer nonetheless so thank you adam and harry and also rob um it came in the box from them so i'm not actually sure who 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 was the one who you know or people who gifted so i'll, I'll thank all three and uh, they'll know who they are but this was an exceptional beer thank you very much um for me ooh, possibly the best barley wine i've ever tasted <clears throat> stunning barley wine from voodoo as well funnily enough uh, better than the one from day uh, and boxcar i think it was that came out the other month which was i think i paid about 12 quid a bottle for that um yeah certainly better than their effort and better than a couple of local efforts that i've had as well um it's cold out of five then would i drink it again hell yes uh if i ever see it again obviously you know some of these things you don't ever see again um Mm. For me, a good 4.67 out of 5. Very high score. Very nice beer. I loved the rich, the rich, smooth, complex, both in taste and aroma. It was a treat, a true treat of a beer. Wow. And that is it for this review. Thank you all for watching and... Uh, 
and uh, we'll see you um, tomorrow and uh, moving forward. Cheers, everyone. I'm going to try and shake it up a bit. Go back to doing spirits as well as wines and beers and, uh, you know, getting back on focus. As it were. And uh, that's it for this preview. Cheers, everyone. See you soon.